because of me, my whole family moved to a different continent. Yeah. And so I was supporting everybody basically. With Charm, physique, talent and wealth were all the enchanting features of the tennis superstar sensation Anna Kornikova. The beautiful Russian was part of the golden age of beautiful tennis players. In fact, you could say she started the trend. Her tennis skills were unmatched, which when combined with her good looks made her a very popular and wealthy athlete. The star has it all, a beautiful physique, tennis ability and the most important of them all was that she was extremely well wealthy. The former tennis player lived a life of elegance and luxury, especially as she was one of the most paid female athletes during her playing days. Even after retirement, she is still earning millions from her numerous endorsement deals. So join us today as we take a look at the luxurious lifestyle of the beautiful Russian known as Anna Kornikova. Tennis players never fail to impress when it comes to owning enormous homes and properties. For example, tennis legend Novak Djokovic is known for his large real estate portfolio with houses spread across different countries. Anna is also following the Serbian's footsteps as she owns a few houses spread across different locations. She owns a waterfront beach mansion estimated to be worth around $14 million. The 19,281 square foot lot is located on Lake Avenue in Miami with an expansive view of Sunset Lake. The home is beautifully designed with keystone lined walls and arched windows that are aesthetically pleasing to the eye. There is also a two story guest house overlooking the pool where her family members stay whenever they visit. But the Russian did list the home for sale in 2018 and she now leads a private life in a Bay Point City mansion with well known Hollywood figures. She has other homes, including a $20 million estate on a private island in Miami that she shares with her husband Enrique Iglesias. She also sold the top penthouse house of the Portofino building to her ex-boyfriend Sergei Fedorov for $1.6 million. Luxurious vehicles line the garage of the former tennis pro. Although she usually travels in a Cadillac Escalade that costs about 80,000 US dollars, with her status you would expect Anna to be switching from one sports car to the other, but the safety and comfortability of the Escalade makes it a more suitable option for Anna as she is a mother. Anna does own a $400,000 Ferrari that she rarely uses except when shopping. The sleek red sports car is perfect for her outings as she is always looking classy and beautiful whenever she is with it. Anna Kornikova consistently portrays the image of a posh celebrity despite describing her fashion sense as simple. The tennis star said she doesn't like spending a long time dressing up and she is not a fan of trendy pieces, saying, if I like my black jeans, I'll wear them to death. The Russian Beauty admitted she does not actually like physical shopping in stores, saying she gets too anxious whenever she is at stores. However, she does go crazy with her spending when it's online shopping. She frequently visits luxury brands like Chanel, Gucci and others because what lady doesn't like a Chanel purse? Some of her favorite brands include Singer 22, Shopbop, Saks and Bloomingdale's. She also has beautiful watches to go with her clothes from these luxury brands. The former tennis superstar has a massive collection of watches from different makers. She mostly wears her $14,000 Cartier La Donna, but she has others like the Omega Constellation worth approximately $6,500 and the Chanel J12 watch worth $6,000. Anna frequently visits St. Bart's in the West Indies whenever it is a vacation season. Her lifestyle is all about luxury and comfort, so she loves relaxing on beaches and yachts during vacations. The two times doubles champion is not afraid to spend her cash on expensive vacation hotspots as she loves spending time with her friends and family during these periods. When it comes to her charitable endeavors, Anna Kornikova is all about the kids. A large portion of her money goes to organizations that support children all around the world. I encourage kids to get into sports, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily tennis, it can be soccer or... Also, she frequently participates in charity matches organized by former professional tennis players. In 2004, Kornikova played in a charity event organized by Elton John, Serena Williams and Andy Roddick. 
She has played charity matches with other tennis superstars like Martina Hengis, John McEnroe and Chris Evert. The Russian beauty has supported charities like Boys and Girls Clubs of America by organizing charity matches with other players. The charity has helped over 4.8 million children and teens to reach their full potential as productive citizens. In an interview about the charity, Anna said, I am proud to be associated with a group like Boys and Girls Club of America who recognizes this need and is proactively providing resources to make this happen. Her charitable exploits don't just stop there, as she also supports the Youth AIDS program by organizing educational seminars for kids and their families. In the early 2000s, the young Russian was every housewife's nightmare, as she had male and female fans at her fingertips. Fashion blogs, magazines and billboard covers, the superstar was everywhere stealing hearts with her beauty. Anna was also pretty wild during her youth, especially during her playing days. Anna dated Detroit Red Wings center Sergei Fedorov, who she met when she was 15 through her family. The two later began dating when Anna was 18 years old, with Fedorov claiming in interviews that they had been married and are currently divorced. Even Fedorov's mother admitted to reporters in 2001 that they had wed in a Moscow registrar office, although Anna denied these claims. She was also involved with former New York Rangers player Pavel Bu creating a Russian love triangle. Fedorov said he had questioned Anna about Bure and had wanted to break up, but she had a believable explanation. Since her retirement, Anna has lived a pretty private lifestyle with her main focus being her family and charities. The Russian is dating Latin pop musician Enrique Iglesias. The duo has been together for over two decades. They both met for the first time on the set of Enrique's music video Escape, where Anna was in the video Vixen, and the duo has been together since then. The couple has remained very private about their relationship status, with rumors going around that they were married. However, both have come out to quench such rumors, even though the musician has referred to Anna as his wife while on stage. When asked about the marriage, the singer told the press, We are just as happy. There comes a point when you've been with someone for a certain amount of time that I believe that you are like married. If these two will officially tie the knot remains the question on everyone's mind. The tennis superstar and her husband share their time with their three kids, twins Nicholas and Lucy, who were born in 2017, and their two year old daughter, Mary. Anna has shielded her kids from the public eye, with many people not knowing the star was ever pregnant until after giving birth. She has been pretty tight lipped about her family, posting only a few photos about them on her Instagram account. Nowadays, the best way to keep in touch with a Russian beauty is through social media, especially her Instagram. She loves to keep the media in the dark, so everything else about her life is private. She occasionally uploads pictures and videos of her family, including her husband, kids, and herself. The account, which has over 1.8 million followers and is a well-curated archive of her personal life since becoming a full-time mom. From the photos, it is clear the Russian superstar has not lost any of her beauty, with Anna still looking beautiful and young as ever despite being a mother of three. Anna Kornikova's career, to the great despair of many tennis fans, was brief as she had to retire early due to injury. Her career might not be as prosperous as other greats of her time like Serena Williams, but she did achieve something for herself. Her singles career could have been more glorious with not a single Grand Slam to her name. However, her doubles career was quite fruitful, winning the Australian Open doubles with her partner Martina Hingis in 1999 and 2002, with the duo referred to as the Spice Girls of Tennis. She reached world number 8 in 2000, the highest rank she ever achieved in her singles career. Whereas for her doubles career, she attained the highest rank of world number one with her partner Martina Hingis. Anna can be described as someone who was born to play tennis. It's a shame that injury hampered her career. As a child, it was evident that she was meant to play tennis professionally because of how good she was. Nick Bolettieri, her coach during the early onset of her career, referred to her as a genius. If Anna had not retired early, she might have won a Grand Slam title in her career.